what's going on in Cardinal Nation. Well, big win tonight as we win the series 5-2 to two over the Tampa Bay Rays. As yes, we take 2-3 from one of the best teams in all of baseball. And Matthew Libertor, our starter in this game, outstanding. Eight, eight scoreless innings. Uh, gave up just two hits, struck out seven on 101 pitches, as this was by far the best start of his major league career. And ironically, it was against the team that drafted him. Uh, he was drafted by the Rays, and then uh, the Cardinals traded him, or the, the Rays traded him to the Cardinals, rather, which I believe was in, was for uh, Randy Orozarena back uh, in 2020, uh, like, I guess, before the pandemic. And, yeah. So, a very impressive, uh, yeah, so, uh, it would be scoreless until the top of the fourth inning when Andrew Kisner would give the Cardinals a 2 to nothing lead with one swing, a two-run homer, uh, for Kisner, it's his, uh, ninth home run, and so that would give us a 2 to nothing lead. And then in the top of the sixth, Alec Burleson with an RBI single to put us up 3 0, scoring Nolan Arnado. Uh, then in the top of the seventh, uh, Lars Newbar would round out, and uh, infielder Taylor Monitor would score on a throwing error by the shortstop Wander Franco. Uh, and so that would give us a 4 0 lead. Uh, that was in the seventh, and yeah, Libertor was cruising along, did not walk a batter, and yeah, so you could not ask for a better start. Uh, and he would retire the final 12 batters that he faced. So, just, uh, just outstanding, very impressive by him. Uh, and, you know, he was pretty solid in his last start against the Twins. And then, before that, he was in the minors. And, yeah. So, and then, the top of the ninth, Tommy Edmond with the solo home run to put us up 5 to nothing. Uh, that was his eighth home run. And then, the bottom of the ninth, uh, knew that Libertor probably wasn't going to go out for the ninth. Due to his pitch count. Uh, well, speaking of pitch counts, uh, last night, Philly starter Michael Lorenzen threw a no hitter in which he threw, it was like 125 pitches. Uh, and yeah, so that was quite a performance by Lorenzen of the Phillies pitching a no hitter. And just his second start with the Phillies uh, as they traded for him. So, anyway, Jojo Romero, who's been outstanding, would pitch to trying to close it out in the ninth. He would get the first two, then a base hit by Yandy Diaz, and then Wander Franco with an RBI triple to make it a 5 1 game. And then uh, Franco would score on a wild pitch. And then Randy Orozarena would walk on a nine-pitch at-bat. But then uh, Harold Ramirez with the fly-out to end it as we get the win 5-2. So in just four hits for the Rays, two of the four came in the ninth inning. So, and yeah, so just a very impressed by, um, by Libertor. So... And, yeah, I'm just happy that we win a series, win back-to-back -back games for the first time in, like, two weeks since we, yeah, I think first time winning back-to-back -back games in longer than two weeks, I think. Yeah, it's been, it's been a bit. So, 
Anyway, back in action Friday night, in which we will face our in-state rival Kansas City Royals in Kansas City Friday and Saturday nights. So, Kansas City with, uh, I think, the second worst record in baseball currently. Uh, though they were recently on a seven-game win streak. So, until Friday, comics we are saying go cards.